let's quickly have a look here at uh, coins. And guys, if you don't use the Trading View app, download that, use that. Because what you can do, you can go there and you can say sort by change. And then you'll see the coins that are the lowest. Like here, you can see Gala, Luna, B, USD, the B, USD one is down 20, 22. They become great buys. Like Hive is a great buy. Buy the, the coins that drop. That's the first thing I ever look in the morning to see which coins are the lowest. That means they become a great buy opportunity. Now, what you can do is you can go and sort and say, uh, show me the change again, and it gives you the coins that are up. Now, look at this one here. NMR is up. Yesterday, you guys in Arnold when you traded that one, I believe, or which was the one that you guys traded? Prom. Oh, Prom. Well, there's a few. Uh, guys, the people in Arnold Nuts are trading right. these coins up and down. Uh, one coin went up 300% yesterday or something. Yeah, Prom did, and then yeah. uh, Numerare yesterday. So there's a lot of coins going up and down, and this is what we are using, a simple, make your thing simple, basic, and easy to understand. Now, this one here, I just want to show you FXS BTC. Uh, it's better to hold... Um, this coin instead of Bitcoin, if you are going to hold. Okay, I'm just going to mention that quickly. But what I want to show you here is this one here. This is what, what's happening with hyperinflation. Now, this chart is the steel index uh, during the Donald Trump era in 1990, you know, 18, 19, and 20. We had a bit of a downtrend in prices. You know, fuel was cheap. Food was cheap. Housing were cheap. Everything was so cheap. And then with the Biden era now, as soon as he became president, you can see there how, how hyperinflation started or inflation started coming in. And then it skyrocketed. Uh, 